That's a very good question. I think people care if they're uncomfortable or if they have a wonderful discovery. So uh, it's politicians have to inspire people and have to communicate to people. So at the end of the day, politicians still, meaning the political leadership, is still the most responsible in terms of getting citizens um, to care and be involved. So it's their responsibility. And part of the issue that I think we face today is, at least in the West, um, a um, lack of maybe foresight in some cases, but in some other cases maybe a lack of responsibility on uh, some of the political leaders to explain certain projects to citizens. For example, in Europe, have uh, the political leaders of different parties or different uh, nations really explain the Europe project to the citizens? They haven't. But today they have to deal with it one way or another. So uh, it's really their responsibility to bring their citizens in. So I still think that in the West, um, people look to their political leaders. There are other ways to engage citizens. This is part of what we do. Uh, some of what we do is advocacy. Uh, because unless you have people thinking about these things, uh, unless you have people owning some of these issues and thinking them through, uh, it's difficult. Uh, we talk about social networks. Social networks have one advantage. Um, they're always there if you want them. They give an enormous amount of information, but they don't necessarily, because people choose, they don't necessarily give a balanced view because people go where, where they feel more, most comfortable. So again, it's a question of leadership and communications from people that, uh, let's say, citizens in general respect. Some of them may be political leaders. Some of them may be, um, no, uh, you know, um, figures that they respect, including uh, people who work in think tanks. Uh, that have uh, won the respect uh, of people in a way that's hopefully nonpartisan. In the East, it's somewhat different uh, in the sense that um, uh, there's implicitly uh, the idea that leadership uh, should know what they're doing because there's only one choice and they're there to do the job. So there, um, uh, that leadership almost has no choice but to perform. Uh, if they don't perform, uh, something's wrong with the system. So it puts a lot of pressure on the system or the leadership to reform uh, internally. So it's a very different dynamic. Uh, 